Good morning. We just woke up day five. We're at the rest area in Ohio. So this is the last push and then we're gonna be in Rochester. We've got about a five hour drive. So I got the coffee on, I just poured my first cup. We're gonna get packed up here. I'll have a banana before we take off. And uh, I have some cereal bar, uh, protein bar kind of things. I'll chow on one of those. And probably stop, we gotta stop and put a little bit of fuel in. I'm trying to run the fuel down low because I wanna, when I'm in Rochester, I'm gonna be putting the, the feed line for the diesel heater into the main fuel tank. And there's an available tap on the side of the tank, <clears throat> but it's down low. So I need to run the fuel down low. So I'm gonna be watching it uh, today on our, on our last stretch. We've only had to fill up, uh, you know, I never run the tank down even to a quarter ta tank. I never run that low. So I've done three fuelings uh, you know, it's a 60 gallon tank. So this thing goes a lot of miles before you need to fill the tank. And I, and I looked, you know, the number of miles that it was across the country with how many miles per tank full that I get. And I said, I only going to have to stop three times, three tank fulls. Um, and that's basically what I've done. I could probably almost make it right into Rochester with the amount of fuel I have in the tank right now. So that means three stops we've done. And I could probably make it, but I don't like to run it that low. But I do want to run it uh, down low when I'm in town so that I can take that plug out of the side of the tank and run a fuel line in there for the diesel heater and get rid of that urine bottle on the back of the truck. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Rocket Chip over here hasn't yet put his fuel in for the day, so he still crashed out on the bed. He jumped up this morning. It's uh, drizzling. Maybe not right this minute, but I did hear it drizzling it's through the night. I can see there's some water outside on the pavement. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything out here. So this is the rest area that we stayed at. Nice and quiet. The, the interstate's right over there. So hold on a second and something will go by. There goes a car. But the traffic really thinned out, you know, during the night. I slept. I definitely slept. Um, but when I get to my folks' house, they have a spare bedroom that's upstairs. Their bedroom is downstairs. So basically, I get upstairs to myself, my own full bath and everything up there. I am looking forward to that. The bedroom, the bed is so comfortable. <laughs> it's so comfortable. I'm looking forward to it. And about I'm going to take about five showers. <laughs> when I get there. Okay, we'll check in on down the road this morning and then uh, we'll we'll definitely, uh, I'll have you guys with me when we pull into my folks' house. Okay.
Hello. Where did you get on? Uh, Pennsylvania. Coming from the western end? Yeah. Thank you. Yep. My folks live right up that direction there, up that hill. That's where we're headed. About, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half from where we are right now. suburb of Rochester we got here yesterday afternoon so tour of the truck I was driving um, this was two days ago you know we were interstate going 68 miles an hour um, you know a lot of trucks tractor trailers on the interstates obviously coming across the country so we're we're hauling hauling butt you know cruising along and a truck, uh, there's a couple of trucks in front of me, both lanes, pretty standard stuff. And then I suddenly see something bouncing towards me on the road. It looked like, you know, about yay big. Uh, if I had to guess, it was a, a rock. It must have come off. One of the trucks that was ahead of me was a, a big flat bed, like a, hauling construction equipment kind of thing so i think it came from that truck so big rock you know i'm doing almost 70 miles an hour and it's bouncing towards me i can't do anything you know i see it bounce bounce boom hits the truck and i i'm holy shit, you know so i'm concerned that you know it damaged something so i'm immediately you know looking at the gauges temperature gauge I'm looking for steam or anything if it something punctured the radiator and um, nothing happened and I just we kept on going so yesterday I'm out here talking to my daughter and I look at the front of the truck and right there is where it hit it is dented in i hope i can pick it up good you can see this is uh this is metal it's like pot metal it feels like so you can see how distorted that is it put a pretty good dent right there that's what i heard now if that had hit up here that's radiator this is uh, transmission cooler or oil cooler I'm not sure which so if this had come if this had hit anywhere 
up in this whole grill section, which is, I mean, another five inches up and I would have been done. So am I happy that I have this dent here? No, but am I glad it hit here and not here? Absolutely. So little bit of road damage. Another thing that I noticed, and I saw this yesterday morning, right before we left from the rest area, one of my lug nut holders for the wheel simulator is gone. So what you're seeing in there, that's the, that's the, the stud for the, the wheel lug nut. So the way these uh, wheel simulators work is that two of them are what hold it on. These are just kind of fake um, decoration, these here. But two of them, you, you thread a piece uh, onto the end of the existing lug stud, and then the little uh, lug nut looking thing threads onto that. So you're basically putting an extension on the lug stud and then you're screwing on the cap well both of them are gone from here i saw this when we were getting ready to uh, load out of the last rest area and so i i made the decision i said well should i take this off and take the whole wheel cover off and put it inside um for the rest of the trip and you know it's it's on here real good this one's definitely holding it so now i've got to order one of these um and replace it so i'm going to order more than one these i was never really happy with the way these threaded on um see how every see how it's not even really centered in the hole everything is just kind of off a little bit I, I, these are i've talked about these before like this is not in the center of the cutout it should be over here but it's right to the side and these are everything's off just a little bit and when you thread on the extenders they only bite onto the lug studs like three threads it's not like you're threading it on and on and on and on and on it's more like and that's it so i always put thread locker on there to hold them tight and really was i guess surprised that they lasted as long as they did at least nothing fell off and i can order these from pacific dualies so i'm going to order more than one and uh, have some spares on hand. Actually, Ghislaine is missing. She still has the extension on, but she the the actual um, cover here she's missing. So I'm gonna make sure I get one for her also when I order these uh, for when we meet up next time. But so so far that's all I've seen from the the 2,200 mile trip across the country is this and this front end damage here. So. I guess all in all, not too bad. Uh, could have been worse. Nothing catastrophic. So we are, uh, I slept 12 hours last night. Uh, Lefty came up, I guess he climbed in bed with my mom, with his grandma, and slept. About midnight though, he came upstairs and crawled in bed with me. And I slept 12 hours. I slept from 6.30 last night till 6.30 this morning. Uh-oh. We got locked out. Okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, no, you do not. Come here. Hey, get back inside. Okay. He was lying here, and I knew when you opened the door. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching the video. So we're, you know, this is my first full day here um, at my folks house. S super comfortable. Like I said, I slept 12 hours last night. Thank you for watching the video and coming along on this journey across the country with us. It was all in all a good trip. The truck did awesome. Um, we found good places to stay for the nights. Um, probably the, the worst part of it was just Lefty being cooped up in the truck. I'm okay with driving. I, you know, I like driving, um, with air conditioning, uh, YouTube on the, on the stereo. And so, um, a lot of hours, but would I do it again? Yeah, I'd do it again. So we're going to be here in town for, I'm guessing about six weeks. I got a bunch of stuff I got to take care of. Lefty's due for his, his yearly shots and all that. And I've got some uh, medical appointments I've got to take care of and dental. Um, I'm going to get the truck worked on while I'm here. That's a high priority is getting a bunch of things done to the truck. 
and I'm going to do some modifications and some additions to the infrastructure of the truck while we're here. So I'll definitely have you guys along with all those with all those things that we're going to be doing here. So thanks again for watching. Um, video description, stickers, t-shirts. Um, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave me a comment and let me know what's going on with you guys. Thanks everybody. Dude.